because boy, do I have some news for you! The office must be crazy. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame! But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth! Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil. Come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want another war. After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <sighs> <sighs> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. They didn't mention the other city even once! They didn't mention the other city even once! How Oh, Cloud! Have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. Oh. Plates aren't supposed to just fall. I mean, what's going on? Right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? Alright, I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all.
It's you, my... Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault, within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away, was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes, that Angel of the Slums has struck again! Well, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the Angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I've decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneo's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the Angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. Cloud? Hmm. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. Why'd you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? Thanks for coming to find us. That's another one I owe you. We're gonna head back to the house now. 
Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. <laughs> With good hearts. Nothing to it. Good job. Whatever, man. Let's go. What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Crawl into a hole and die. Oh, Johnny's been had. Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand. Fine. What? Truth is, for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is... <laughs> I got mugged! She took it! Took it all, man! <sighs> I tried to chase her down, I really did! 
But she was real fast like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah, she was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would They're nothing. Compared to us, at least. Do it. Ain't no walking away from me. No holding the nut. You better run. Stop on me. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Alright. 
can't hold me back. Let's do this. Get ready. Calling fire. Okay then, that makes three. We better check in at Sam's. There's the champ with a heart of gold. My babies are all back home, safe and sound. Now I can finally get back to the business of business. Thanks, partner. Here, y'all learn this. It's a pass that'll get you a ride on one of my carriages whenever you need it. Free of charge, of course. Not bad, am I right? Chocobos or something else. You can ride them, pet them, befriend them. What would we do without them? They're the reason a guy like me can keep a roof over his head in a town like this. And that's no lie. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for doubting that coming from me, but it is what it is. Gonna believe it. But well, the chocobos are back. We can finally resume services. I really owe you one. What? It wasn't me! You've got the wrong girl! Never committed a crime in my life! You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but cool name. <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. <sighs> Maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sort of. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? <laughs> Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go in the run? <laughs> Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. We'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal. 
deal. Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Colosseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. 